We're here with Johnny O'Connell returning to the 24 Hours of Le Mans after a five-year absence. Um, Johnny, what does it feel to be back here and, and go through the scrutineering process and sort of make your return to this iconic race? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty magical. You know, uh, I've always appreciated it uh, all the previous years, you know, that I've competed here, the previous 14. But then when you're not here, that's when you realize just how special this place is. So to, uh, to come back, to have, uh, you know, so many, so many of the French fans, you know, be excited about it, to greet me, uh, it's a bit of a homecoming. And, uh, you know, what? there are two things that I've missed since, uh, since I started racing for Cadillac. And that's the 12 hours of Sebring and the 24 hours of Le Mans. So, so we're back here. We're going to make the most of it. And, uh, you know, we've had great success here in the past. And hopefully we will this weekend as well. How have your first laps been in the Corvette C7R? Obviously, this is your first time in this iteration of, the, of this car. Yeah, you know what? It's an awesome race car. You know, unfortunately, the team only received the car a week before uh, before the test. So there's a lot of work to, to be done. Uh, we, we were far from being in the sweet spot. And, uh, you know, I'm confident with the amount of time that we have uh, ahead of us to get this thing dialed in that we'll be much closer to the front. You know, the funny thing about Le Mans, though, is don't make any mistakes. If you don't make any mistakes, good things are going to happen. And uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working with my the team and my co-drivers, and uh, hopefully we uh, we put in uh, mistake-free 24 hours. What does it take to be successful here? Obviously, you've been on, being on the podium multiple times, winning this race multiple times. You, you know how to get it done. You know, is there some secret recipe? Is there some kind of, you know, motivation that gets you out, you know, to, to, to go after the, the, the a class victory here? Yeah, it, 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 you know, as you're asking that question, you know, the answer came to me pretty easily. Take your ego out of it. Take your ego out of it, which is one of the most difficult things to do at Le Mans because in every garage there's a monitor and you will see your competition maybe going a second or two quicker than uh, uh, per lap than you. Or, or, uh, and what you need to do, you need to drive to where the car wants to be. And, and if the car's got like a three minute 56 second lap in it you go 356 but if it's a 358 car you you drive it as a 358 car you don't cowboy it down to go faster you know you look after your equipment uh, mechanical sympathy you know be nice to your stuff and uh, you know really I've always thought of this race as being 20 hours of testing or lapping you race the last four I can't tell you how many of my wins came in the last four hours of this race so you know we you be smart you stay out of trouble no mistakes all right well best of luck this weekend thank you very much